for us. We've been working on this collaboration project for over six months. And then we have Jimmy Tolliver. And for all of you that are new, he was with Lee till he retired 25 years. Mm -hmm. And from the Johnson Center of the Arts, this is Morgan Drinker. We're real right. excited because this shows what students will be able to do if you use your talent. And that's what we're here for. This time I'd like to present this very beautiful piece of artwork on behalf of the Media Center here and the Johnson Center for the Arts. And Troy Mosti is a, a well-known name and a, seems like a family member to some. Mm -hmm. I know my grandfather-in-law especially. Um, his talents, we, we have an exhibit where um, we show his pieces and students are able to come in and look at the pieces and see his talents and learn about his techniques and learn about his life and then they're able to see how they can do those things in their life and that's the perfect example that we want to provide in art education and we hope that this will do some of that here at Lee High School. Thank you very much. artwork is a perfect example of folk art which is defined as untrained primitive artwork and at this time it is one of the most popular forms of art because the people who can make this type of art are so talented they didn't have formal degrees in art and have formal education in this yet their pieces are so incredible and that's why there is such a phenomenon with folk art because the use of color lines textures strokes images people animals is so incredible because it's truly from their minds <laughs> 